Hi, welcome back to Susie's Scrap and Spot. In my video today, I am going to show you how to cut fabric with your Cricut. And I know a lot of you are intimidated by this. I was at first, but I promise it's really simple. Okay, so I have my fabric here, and I just turn it upside down on my ironing board. I get the heat and bond from Walmart. It comes in a roll in the sewing section. And I'm going to place it on top of my fabric and just iron it upside down. Make sure you iron on the paper side. Then you're going to pull it off and you'll get this kind of shiny tacky feel. And then you're just going to stick that side right down on your mat. And I'm going to brayer it because I don't want it to move at all. And fabric has a tendency to move. Make sure you use a pretty sticky mat doesn't have to be brand new. Your blade does not have to be brand new. But make sure you stick it really good. So we're going to load our paper. We are just going to choose to cut this little flower. And I'm going to make it two inches. I'm going to check my cheat sheet, make sure my settings are right. I have four on my, die, on my blade. Uh, low speed and maximum on my pressure. And then I'll just hit cut. Now while that's cutting, the best fabric to use is 100% cotton. You can use a little bit thicker fabric I have. It doesn't cut quite as well, it still does okay, but you may have to use a multi-cut option, and I've got another video about that, so check that out if, if that's something you're interested in. Okay, this is just about done. This is perfect for applique. Okay, unload. And when I pull my fabric up, my little flower is right there. Sorry, you probably can't see that. Okay, there's my flower when I pull my fabric. And it's ready to applique on a onesie, a tea towel, anything you can think of. Um, you can also use a product called Stiffy, and it will stiffen your fabric, but it will permanently stiffen it. So if you're not using it for, if you're using it for like scrapbooking or something like that, that's fine. But if it's for clothing or something, um, you definitely want to use a heat and bond or something similar to that. So that's as easy as it is to cut fabric. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.